On occasion, in Autodesk Fusion 360, you would like to know the length of a path of, of a component. Well, in the case of this one, the sketch is just a polyline, so it's very easy to pick the Inspect tool, touch on the sketch, and get 19.766. That's simple. But then when you come to a component like this, you would like to measure the distance around the edge. You hit the Inspect tool, and you hit an edge, and you say, oh my gosh, it doesn't go all the way around. You have to pick each one and add it all together. That can be a pain. In this video I'd like to show you how to do this in one quick easy step. So let's first go back to our first example to show you that my method works well. Again let's go ahead and do the inspect of this polyline 19.766. Now to do this with any path you can go up to construct and either use plane along a path or point along a path. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use plane along a path so it's a little more visual. So I come over here and pick on that same path. I then change this distance proportionally to 1, which is the extreme length of the path. Hit the drop down and pick physical and you'll see 19.766. So you get the same result as the inspect tool. So let's now move to the other component, the shell box, and try to find the length of the top perimeter. Go to Construct. Again, you can use either one. I'm going to use Plane Along a Path and pick on the edge. Notice it goes all the way around automatically. Change the distance proportionally to 1, and then change to Physical, and you'll get the distance at 16.712. How quick is that? Isn't that nice? Let's do the same operation again with the plant point along a path. Pick on any line you wish. Go to proportional one. That's the end of the line of the whole path. Then go to physical and you get the same answer. 16.712. So let's go back to the shell box and change it a little bit. Let's get rid of the, suppress the fillets, not get rid of them, to make it a square box. Now, if you go to plane along a path, it doesn't work. But you can slip over, activate the sketch, pick on the sketch, and you have the same condition. Change to one, physical, and you get the distance around it, 18. Of course, taking around way the fillets, you do get an 18. So we can prove this one very quick is working correctly. If we go into the sketch and edit the sketch, you'll see that it's 4 on the side, 5, 5 and 5 is 10, and 4 and 4 is 18. So it's working perfectly. Looking at our last component, we can either use a sketch or one edge of this path. Let's just go and use this time, let's just use point along a path. Pick on this edge or this edge, it doesn't matter. Set it to 1 proportionally to put it to the end of the path and then hit the physical. It's 20.142. 20, 20 you could also turn the sketch on and do the same thing by picking up the same thing. I'll use path and set it to 1 again and you'll see the length is exactly the same. So it's a great tool for measuring lengths of irregular objects without having to add up all the individual pieces. Hope this helped you do better modeling in Fusion 360.